Okay, so now let's talk about key rotation. So in GCP, if you're using symmetric encryption, then you can periodically and automatically keep rotating your keys and create new versions of your keys. Now certain industry standards such as PCI DSS that is used for payment card industry data security standard requires that you mandatorily rotate your keys. Now currently GCP provides rotation only for symmetric keys. So let's go and see how you can rotate your keys in GCP using symmetric encryption. So let's go back to our console. Okay, so let's go back to our key ring and let's create a new key. So let's click on create key. And here, if you're using generated key, then let's go down and let's give a name for our key. And let's make the symmetric. So if you make the symmetric and if you go down, okay, so here you can see that there is a key rotation period of 90 days. So what this means is that after 90 days, a new version of your key would be generated and that would be the new primary version of that particular key. So let's make this as never. And what we'll do is once we create this key, we'll manually rotate it. And let me show you what would happen once a rotation happens. So let's click on save and let's click on create here. And let's open the key that we've created. So as you can see, a version of our key has been created and it is enabled and it is currently the primary version. So if I click on rotate here, what would happen is that a new version would be created and the new version that is created would be used in the application and it would be set as the primary version for that particular key. Okay, so but before rotating this particular key, what I will do is I will encrypt a particular text using this version one. So let's see what happens once we do that. So let's go back to our cloud shell again. So, okay, so I'm in a directory called rotate that I've created and within that I've created a text file called a.txt which contains just hello world. So if I do a cat on this particular file, you can see that it just displays hello world. So what I'll do is I will try to encrypt this particular file using my version one. So the command for that is our gcloud kms encrypt. So again, you need the key, the key in the location, the plain text file, which is a.txt. And the cipher text file that will be generated once I run this particular command. So let's copy this and let's paste it over here. Click on authorize. And let's do an ls. And you can see that our b.txt.enc has been generated. So the next thing that I will do is I will rotate the key now. So let's click on rotate. Click on rotate. Okay, so now that I've rotated my key, you can see there's a new version that gets generated. So now let's see what would happen if we try to decrypt that particular previous file that we had encrypted using version one. So let's run the KMS decrypt command. So the KMS decrypt command looks something like this. So you need to run the gcloud KMS decrypt command. So here, what you need to do is you need to give the cipher text that we had previously created using version one. So let's see what the output would look like. So the output would be in x.txt that would get generated once this, once this particular command is run. Let's copy this and let's run this command. And you can see that it creates a file called x.txt, which contains a hello world. Now, the next thing that I will do is I will completely destroy this old version. And once I destroy this ver old version, this particular gcloud KMS decrypt command will not work. So let's see how we can do that. Let's click on this and let's destroy this particular key, this particular version. Let's click on destroy. Click on schedule destruction. So now what I have done is this particular version with which I had encrypted my old file has been destroyed. So, so the next thing that we'll do is we'll try to decrypt using the same command that we had previously run. That is, we'll use the gcloud kms decrypt. Now, the only difference here is that our version one has been destroyed. So let's see what the output would look like. Let me just copy this and let's paste it. Now here, one thing to remember is that this particular encrypted file was encrypted using version one and this version one has been destroyed. So let's run this command now. And you can see that this particular decryption uh, failed. That is because our version one is not dis enabled and it is currently in a destroyed scheduled state. So that's one thing you need to remember. So, okay, so that is one important thing to remember. So if you're trying to decrypt a file that is encrypted by a version that is no longer valid or that is in a destroyed or in a disabled state, it will not work. So what you need to do is, again, you need to restore it back. So let's just enable this and let's see what would happen now. So this would work now. So let's do a gcloud kms decrypt again and this time because we've enabled that key it will give an output in y.txt let's let's do a cat on y.txt 
and you can see that it returns a hello world. So if you want to delete or disable a particular key because you think it has been compromised, the first thing that you need to do is you need to again run the encrypt command. And when you run the encrypt command, it will pick the one that is enabled and in a primary state. And after you've done that, you can again disable or delete the previous version. So let's do that. So now we know that this particular b.txt.enc that the file that we've created is currently encrypted using version one. So if I run an encrypt com command again, it'll encrypt again using version two. And after we've done that, we can just remove this particular version. So let's run the gcloud encrypt command. So this particular file has been encrypted now using this particular second version because it's currently the primary version. So let's do a clear and let's destroy this now. So let's click on destroy. Okay, so now even though I have destroyed the previous version, now because I had encrypted it again using version two, the decrypt should work this time. So let's again do a decrypt. And this time let's create a file called z.txt. And you can see that this works. So if I do a cat on z.txt, you can see that it returns hello world. So this is one very important thing to remember while you are rotating your keys. So I hope this was a useful lecture. I will see you in the next.